Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Yes, you read that title correctly, so let's jump right in. Most of us know Jonathan Raumi as the actor that plays Jesus in the TV series The Chosen. He also starred as Lonnie Frisbee in the recent movie Jesus Revolution. Let's start by understanding one thing. Speaking to the dead is forbidden by God. Deuteronomy 18 reads, Let no one be found among you who sacrifices his son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft, or casts spells, or who is a medium or spiritist, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. Think about that. God includes speaking to the dead in the same sentence as those who sacrifice their sons or daughters in the fire. This is wicked, and according to God's holy word, this actor, Jonathan Raumi, is detestable to God because in the clip we're going to watch, he actually prays to Lonnie Frisbee for guidance. In poking around about Lonnie Frisbee, I discovered that his funeral was held at Robert Schuller's Crystal Cathedral in Garden Grove, California, very, yeah. which is now a Catholic cathedral. It's ironic. Yeah. Isn't it? So yeah. interesting. He was a big fan. Lonnie was a fan of St. Francis. When he started preaching, he would... I could walk. see that. Mm -hmm. He had a walking stick. He had a leather mantle. Uh, he probably was barefoot for a lot of the time. And uh, and he carried a, a bag that he slung around him uh, in which he had a bottle of... Um, olive oil that was stuffed with pieces of cinnamon and frankincense and he would anoint people you know like oh, wow anoint people in the name of the father son holy spirit and and uh and so he had talked about like being a, a, a fan of saint francis so um before i started work i went over to christ cathedral and uh i i sat by his grave and i prayed a rosary with him so there's problem number one praying the rosary not just that, but praying it with a dead person. And it gets worse. Oh, he didn't realize he's buried there too. He's, oh yeah, he's buried there, yeah. Oh, well, I'm gonna have to go take a look at that. Yeah, it's 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 powerful. In fact, I sat down and I prayed with him. Um, the, the, the space just to his right is empty. So I got to sit down or lie. At one point I even lied down because I just thought it would be kind of interesting to try to connect in some way. That's probably more information than you need or may even want to publish. I don't understand how these people think they're going to connect with someone who's dead. But that said, uh, I, you know, I, it's the, the truth. And so I finished praying with him. And I said, Lonnie, I want to honor you with this film. And I really want to, um, to, to, to bring justice and, and, you know, the testament to the gifts of God's grace and, and powers that you, you know, displayed while you were on this earth. And so if this is a good idea that I do this film, have somebody give me a sign. Give me a sign. Have God give me a sign. Mm -hmm. So, folks, he's actually praying and speaking to dead Lonnie Frisbee and asking this dead corpse to have someone give him a sign. This is witchcraft, and according to Deuteronomy 18, Jonathan is detestable to God. But then a sign comes. And the minute the words left my mouth, behind me there was a door open to the cathedral, and this giant chord rang out for about five seconds. and then From started. the organ? From the organ. Wow. I hadn't heard it before. And that's the very organ that used to be there when it was the, it's the same organ that when really? it was the Crystal Cathedral. Mm -hmm. It was sent out and refurbished and whatnot, but it's the same one. So I heard that and I was like, okay, thanks for that. <laughs> so Jonathan really believes that dead Lonnie Frisbee in some way made that door open and the organ play. This is divination and a very serious matter. Leviticus 20, 27 says that a man or woman who is a medium or necromancer shall surely be put to death. They shall be stoned and their blood shall be upon them. I don't know if talking to the dead is a normal thing for Jonathan, but then again, he is Catholic and they pray to Mary, so anything is possible. But speaking to the dead is considered wicked by God's standard. 
If you do end up watching this, Jonathan, I pray you'd repent of this because scripture is clear that this is very serious in God's eyes. I don't think there's much more to be said on this topic, so we're going to leave it here for today, but feel free to leave your thoughts below, and until next time, take care and God bless.